I'm diving into the world's most powerful non-nuclear bomb, the aviation thermobaric bomb of increased power, affectionately known as the father of all bombs or FOAB. Now why is it called the father of all bombs? Because when it comes to sheer destructive power, nothing comes close. Developed by Russia, the FOAB is designed to unleash an explosion so devastating it rivals the power of a small nuclear weapon without the pesky radiation. Let's talk about the science behind this beast. The FOAB utilizes thermobaric technology. When detonated, it releases a cloud of highly flammable aerosol fuel mixed with atmospheric oxygen. As this cloud ignites, it creates an enormous blast wave followed by a vacuum effect that sucks in everything around it. This dual phase explosion is what makes the FOAB so lethal and effective against fortified targets. The FOAB weighs in at a hefty 7.1 tonnes and has a blast yield equivalent to 44 tonnes of TNT. To put that in perspective, it's about four times more powerful than the GBU-43B massive Ordnance Air Blast, or MOAB, used by the United States. But why would a military opt for a non-nuclear option like the FOAB? The answer lies in its strategic advantages. The absence of nuclear fallout makes it suitable for use in scenarios where minimizing long-term environmental damage is crucial. It's a powerful tool for psychological warfare as well, capable of delivering a knockout punch without crossing the nuclear threshold. Now let's discuss its deployment. The FOAB is dropped from high-altitude aircraft, typically using a parachute to control its descent. Upon release, it free falls to its target area, the bomb is designed to detonate just before impact, maximizing the damage radius. The first and only confirmed test of the FOAB was conducted by Russia in 2007. The blast reportedly vaporized everything within a 300 meter radius and left a massive crater in its wake. The shockwave and heat generated were so intense, it was like unleashing a miniature sun on the battlefield. So what does the future hold for the FOAB? While it remains a terrifying piece of military hardware, its use is likely to be limited to very specific scenarios, those that require extreme force without the repercussions of nuclear fallout. In the world of modern warfare, the father of all bombs stands as a testament to human ingenuity and the relentless pursuit of superior firepower. It's a stark reminder that even in the absence of nuclear weapons, the potential for devastation remains ever-present.